It sort of feels like I'm hungover. I think that's the best way to put it. There is one way you can make your 48 hour fast much easier and maybe even without feeling hungry. Well, in theory. So starting today, I'm gonna do my own 48 hour fast, trying out this concept to see if it actually works. So what I'm talking about is the difference between starting the fast in a fat adapted state versus a carb adapted state. You see, I did a 48 hour fast back in April and prior to starting the fast, I had a super high sugar, high carb diet. And in that period, my body was really well adapted to using carbs as fuel. And this could mean that starting a fast could be more demanding on the body because you have to put it through the transition of going from glucose adaptation to the fat adaptations that happens when you fast. And that transition is exactly what I'm going to try to avoid this time. So this time around, my metabolic starting point is already in fat burning mode because for the last six weeks, I've severely lowered my carb intake and for this last seven days I've completely went keto so I've consumed less than 50 grams of carbohydrates every day for the last seven days so in theory my energy levels are gonna be stable and I'm not gonna struggle much with uh, hunger and this fast is gonna be silky smooth or maybe more fitting smooth as butter The only rule that I'm following during this fast is not consuming calories. So I'm allowed to drink coffee and water, tea. To ensure that I'm actually in ketosis and that my body is in fat burning mode, I just peed on these keto sticks. They measure the keto content of my urine. And as you can see already, I have some to moderate levels of ketones in my urine. So that could indicate that this is going to be much easier than last time. My most difficult fast ever was last summer. And the most difficult part of it was the second night. And that's exactly what I'm going to encounter in a few hours. I could simply not fall asleep. All I kept thinking about was this specific product. But hopefully I can avoid that this time with my new strategy. Usually during my fasts, I want the night to go by quickly and I pray that I can fall asleep immediately. But yesterday I had so much creative energy and I sat by the computer making videos, writing scripts. Hunger was not really much of an issue, even, uh, even late at night. I think it's safe to say that this is already a success, but I'm only 40 hours in and I still have a few more hours to go, so I can't take too much of the joy in advance. So I still have time to crash, not the car, but mentally and physically. I can't get over how well this is working. I do admit that the morning hours were a bit difficult in bed, but once I got up, everything was back to normal. And after a coffee, I went for a workout and it felt just like it always does. No sign of not having anything to eat for the past 40 hours or so. And right now, I honestly can say that I don't feel hungry and I have no cravings, even for the, you know, chocolates and things that I normally crave. And I genuinely feel energized and well. And before you ask, no, I'm not sponsored by fasting. This video is sponsored by nature. No, this is literally how it feels. 48 hours is done and I'm not gonna rant anymore about how successful this was because I think it's pretty clear already. So the conclusion is that if you go low carb and deplete your body of the sugar stores and let it adjust to burning fat as fuel, your fast is likely gonna be much easier. At least it was for me. I'm not talking for everyone here, but it did for me now. And this of course all depends on how your body reacts to fasting. This could all be a random coincidence that I took it so easily this time because this is not science, it's bro science hope you like the video thanks for watching now you can watch this if you want bye